as a modular unit, so looking very nice. <laughs> Much better after we got rid of the paint. <laughs> well, yeah, there should probably be a sign up. This is primer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was telling everybody. <laughs> primer in the county is buying new buildings. <laughs> Meeting to order, if you would, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, give us the wisdom, foresight, and understanding in making decisions that affect our friends, neighbors, and the others in the county depending on us. Help us to act according to your will to make choices that are pleasing to you. Bless this body of government and the people gathered here to participate in the freedoms you have provided to our nation. Amen. <coughs> Adoption of the agenda. So moved. I have a motion. A second. <coughs> second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. And at that point, then <coughs> we would uh, go to the first public hearing the capital improvements plan. Open the public hearing. Do we have any speakers? Close the public hearing for capital improvements. Um, open the public hearing for the proposed <coughs> budget. Do we have any speakers? Yes, sir. We have three speakers um, at this time. The first speaker is Gary Jones, 230 Woodbrook Lane, Trash, Virginia. Okay. Would I ask that everybody limit their time to about three minutes if you could? No problem. Thank you, Gary. I will start with a quote from Groucho Marx. I, non events, have the power to make me happy or unhappy today. I can choose which it shall be. Yesterday is dead. Tomorrow hadn't arrived yet. I have just one day today, and I'm going to be happy in it. In the day that I didn't had today already, I'm actually glad to be with y'all tonight. Because I'm here to tell you good news about Raft In Fire Department. The, back in July with the Durego, we were out in the raft down area for five days. Uh, 75 kW generator we put in the fall before, perform fall this week for Culpepper, Madison, and Orange um, people that were out of power. We got ice, it got cool, some of them washed clothes. The, um, our membership is up. We got 14 new members in January and February. Most of them have their certifications. Three quarters of them are certified drivers and pump operators. And as reflected in our responses in the first quarter of this year, the, um, and we made investments, two investments in, that would benefit Orange County. The first one is that we upgraded all of our radio systems and our trucks and our portables to meet the mandate for nail banning, which we spent $13,900 to do it. And the second is the I Am Responding Program. Orange has been doing it for the year and Culpepper just started doing it. And we talked with Nikki. We got all the information put in yesterday. So when they set tones for Orange County departments. We will get toned out at the exact same time. And parity is what we've been striving for all these years, and we got it. So we will respond as soon as we get those tones, and the dispatchers will do their stuff when they get it done. I know you have a difficult budget. I've been reading the Orange Review, and you support us faithfully through the years, and I know you do what you can for us. And just let you know, we are still neighbors. We will support Orange County the best we can. And 
regardless of what you decide on the budget, we will support you in responding to the calls as best we can. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Next speaker. <coughs> Um, I'm here tonight on behalf of the Piedmont Regional Dental Clinic. Uh, first, I want to thank you for the support you've given us over the last two years. Uh, we're asking once again for $5,000. Um, I hope you've all had an opportunity to go out to the clinic. Approximately 55% of our patients are in fact residents of Orange County. We serve Orange, Madison, Culpeper, um, Green, and uh, we're starting to serve Louisa County. Some of the things we've done differently um, or additionally from the last time I was here, we have um, a dental van that is able to go to the schools and it has been in the Orange County schools uh, multiple times. We have found that we get the best response from students um, in the elementary schools. As children get older, they seem to be less willing to come in for a service like that. You know, there's a certain stigma that um, starts to develop with young people. We are fortunate in that the um, elementary school students we get, we tend to get some of their uh, middle school and uh, high school um, family members who may otherwise not be willing to come. As most of you know, uh, Medicaid only covers children. So for adults, there is no dental safety net. Um, the Affordable Health Care Act does not affect um, dentistry and as a result the needs for the Piedmont Regional Dental Clinic are increasing rather than decreasing. We would ask the board to consider funding us at the level that we did last year and again we appreciate the support you've given us in the past. Thanks. Thank you, Sean. My name is Tamara Moore and I'm the managing attorney at Rappahannock Legal Services and the Culpeper Branch Office. Um, the Culpeper Branch Office serves Orange County. I first want to thank you all for the opportunity to speak with you tonight and I also wanted to thank you all for continued, your continued support over the years. We're asking for level funding of $3,500. Um, the number of clients that need our services has increased while our donations have decreased all due to a difficult economy. Um, we understand all too well the tough times that are currently tightening county budgets. Our Culpeper office has one and a half attorneys that handle cases in five counties, Orange, Madison, Culpeper, Fauquier, and Rappahannock. We provide representation to low income individuals um, in cases in civil legal matters, such as domestic violence cases, unemployment benefit cases, landlord tenant, um, custody visitation, child support, and spousal support cases. We're the only agency in Orange County that provides that services to your citizens. Um, in Orange County, there are 3,380 eligible low-income people who qualify for our services, and that's according to the 2010 Census. Um, Rappahannock County, or Rappahannock Legal Services helps the county government in the following ways. We take some of the strain off of the Orange County Social Services by lifting folks out of poverty by getting enforceable court orders for child support and spousal support, as well as with the unemployment benefits. And we also help the court system run more efficiently for folks who can't afford attorneys um, because pro se litigants have a tendency to clog down the, uh, the system. We use the $3,500 in financial support to provide legal <coughs> services that directly benefit your client, your citizens. Um, in the last fiscal year, 91 uh, of your residents were assisted by our one and a half attorneys, including 33 domestic violence cases. We obtained $15,906 in annualized child and spousal support, which is paid directly to the citizens in need. And when you look at the total amount, the measurable financial help that your residents receive compared to what we actually get from you, it's an excellent return on your investment. Last year, Orange County poor citizens avoided $15,000 in false claims that were filed against them. And in the last fiscal year, the three offices, the Culpeper Branch Office, our Fredericksburg Main Office, as well as our Tappahannock Branch Office, um, obtained over $2 million for our clients with the 17 um, counties that we serve. So I just want to take the opportunity to thank you again for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to ask that the um, 
All right, did the rabbit and volunteer fire department be restored to the budget, which I understand has been cut over the budget for this year? It's such a valuable organization. It was founded um, as, a, as the result of a fire in the village of Rapidan, and the, um, the citizens in that area all got together and started the fire department. And then a few weeks ago, as you know, the McDonald House burned down in Rapidan, and I understand that the fire department wasn't given first notice if they had, they would have been able to get to that fire sooner than the other fire departments got there. There's so many people and structures in Rapidan that are far enough away from both Orange and Culpeper and other um, fire departments serving that area that the, it makes the Rapidan um, department a much more valuable um, resource for, for protection in, in Rapidan. And I just wanted to ask you to reconsider that item. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> no other speakers? No, sir. All right. What is that? Public hearing? And then lastly, <coughs> open the public hearing on the proposed ordinance establishing, establishing the tax rates. Do we have any speakers? Close that public hearing. Okay. Do we have a motion? <coughs> no, I think we. Is it a comment section or what do you. No, that was it. That's it. Yeah. Do we, uh, is there anything in here that would require us to have a uh, work session on Thursday? I would uh, think uh, we ought to cancel the work session on Thursday. Well, we've got some. We've got my fire department, and what, I don't need to meet. Uh, we, I mean, <coughs> on, on the others, but I don't have any. Okay, that's, that's that one good. What's that? Requested amount. Level. That, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. So, so okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. So all, all I all I need is seven thousand from contingency, and we don't need to meet. I've thought of another place where we can get it, and I haven't. Um, I didn't remember to speak to Mr. Lashley about it, but <laughs> he has indicated that there may be some excess in his budget for the current year. Um, we can take it from his next year's budget and then carry it forward. And I think we'll still be safe within our. Um, who, who, who are you taking from? The county attorneys. I um, offered it. I've got. I put. You live near Rapidan? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just seemed like it was important. I have a, a ten thousand dollars in my budget for outside counsel. I've been here six months. Haven't used any. Don't expect to use any. And so it's there in a contingent basis. But uh, we should be okay. Don't. I can't foresee any need for outside counsel. So I spoke with the county administrator that I would be comfortable with pulling it from that figure and just decreasing my budget by that amount. Well, are you making a motion to uh, to uh, change the, uh, uh, to add 7,000 to the Rapid Air Fire Department? Sure. And is there a second? Yes. Okay. We don't need to have a formal vote, but I, but, uh, uh, maybe you ought to call a vote. Okay. Well, if you want to adopt this, this budget resolution, you can do it with that with that provision? That provision, if that's how you want to proceed to do it. If, we, if we're not going to do it. Uh, yeah, well, that'll, that'll all be done on the next ninth. Week on the ninth. That, yeah, that's got to be done on the ninth. That's what we said we'd do it. But I'm saying if we, got, if we, we have we an agreement to, to do it, then we don't need to meet Thursday. Right. We just need direction as to what how to, to do How to that. change the last round of the budget. And I, and I probably will, if there's funds available, carry forward um, monies to, to make that amount whole for the county attorneys just in case we run into issues that we don't anticipate. So your motion is to basically change the budget to take uh, and give uh, Rapidan uh, Fire Department 7,000 and take it out of uh, the uh, county uh, attorney.
attorney's uh, budget line? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll say no, but I think you got a majority. I'll, I'll go with that, that change. Okay. Well, that gives me three thumbs up, Shannon. Yeah. Okay. Form. My, my, my fear is, and while I'm perfectly fine with doing it, my fear is other counties come into us and we rely heavily on that um, mutual agreement. And if they look at us, if Greene County looks at us and goes, wow, you can't tell if we come over to Barbersville and they start sending us a bill. Um, you know. Well, I guess it was this weekend. I heard one co pen called out, and I listened very carefully. I didn't hear a response from them this weekend. So I'll, I'll keep my vote, but I think you got enough to carry it. Okay. In fact, uh, <coughs> based on uh, Shannon's uh, thing the other night, uh, Wednesday night, after my regular duty day on Wednesday, somebody called in sick, and we, instead of having to call in the county staff, I stayed on for another five hours just so we didn't didn't have to violate that the first night. <laughs> I didn't realize I had so much yeah. power. I didn't start wielding it in other ways. <laughs> we'll, we'll take the uh, Powerball numbers. You know that would, that would be nice. Mr. Chairman, the only thing I would ask is if they have like a cool T-shirt or something <laughs> they should send you. I supported <laughs> Reverend Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he I think, I he think gave Tom, up the budget. I Tom, agree. Tom gets, Tom gets a dinner. Tom gets a, a ticket to the um, no the the, 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 the pork there. loin dinner on the nineteenth. Yeah. Yeah. that got um, canceled. Uh, <laughs> in, in all seriousness, I, I, some of the, the uh, changes that Gary mentioned that they that they have done, I think it's important that that they understand that they we do expect them to make those kinds of improvements and, and to be in a position to respond. I mean, this is not not intended to be uh, uh, just a, a gift because we, we like you. Like you that there, and we really do. There is an expectation. There is an expectation. And, and if there are things that have historically been in the way or the communications haven't worked as they should have or the, the, uh, the tones haven't come through as they should, then that needs to be addressed so that that doesn't continue to be a problem. Sounds like they are, but it's now it's now risen to the level of expectation. Okay. I would also uh, say we don't need to meet on Thursday. Um, I see no further need to meet on Thursday. Anybody else have a need? Do we have a motion to that effect? I so move. Yeah. Second. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 No need to meet on Thursday. Okay. Anything we'll else? I I'll second that. that. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 The meeting is over. That sounds like a railroad whistle going by.